This is Tim with Astro Photography, the budget way. We're going to do a review on the Subani SD48 telescope. It's the one that I ordered off eBay. So stay tuned. Let's dive into it. I was kind of checking around. Like I said, everything I do, I want to do on a budget. Um, I just ain't got five to ten thousand dollars to throw at this hobby so I was trying to figure out an easier way to do it on a budget I'm going to show you the telescope that I ordered it's off eBay it's a Subani SV48 uh, telescope was $275.99 the shipping was free uh, we'll see what comes with it when we kind of do an official unboxing. Um, but from what I looked at, the telescope really looks pretty nice. It's got a bevel speed focuser. The glass is uh, it's achromatic, but it's got a, a coating on the glass. Uh, it's got the dovetail plate. Uh, it does got the uh, two inch, two inch and a quarter adapter. Also has a finder scope adapter with it. Now, nothing comes with this scope. There's no eyepieces. There's no finder scope. It's strictly this the scope itself. Uh, but for $275, for my goal is to get into astrophotography on a budget. I think this is going to be a, a good, a good telescope to start with. Uh, like I said, it's not, it's an achromatic, so we'll find out just how good it is. So we'll be doing an unboxing here in just, uh, just a few minutes. We got the telescope in after we ordered off eBay. So the big moment we're waiting on. Will this have any quality? That's my biggest question. Is, is it going to be quality? $275, sometimes you just don't know. Some of the things you got off eBay, you really don't know. But I want to show you the case first. The case is really nice. A heavy case. So far, so good. That's a positive sign. And we did got a good case. The case looks really nice. And that could come in. And that could be a great advantage when you're going on a trip or carrying your telescope to a dark area. Uh, you want to have a night out with a family. This really looks good. The moment, open it up. And we'll both take a look at it. Looks really pretty good. It is packed good. I must say it is really packed good. So, let's take it out. I'm going to lay this right here. Get this out of the way. So far, so good. It's got actually got some weight to it. It's surprising. Really got some good weight to it. Uh, it's got a shield on it. There's a shield on the back. That's nice to take it off. Lens looks really good. It does got that green coated lens. Well, actually, that's for I really do not understand 100%. But it's got to be a plus, right? I'm going to do this one. Looks nice. This is a 2 inch. It's a 
two amps, you can put your camera adapter, two inch camera adapter in there for your DLSR, or you can put a two inch diagonal in there. Or, comes with this adapter that you put in here. It reduces down to inch and a quarter, where you can put an inch and a quarter adapter or an inch and a quarter diagonal in there for your eyepieces for visual use. It does have a scope finder mount here, which is really nice. It does have a dual focus there. Let's see how this thing is does. It's pretty smooth. It goes from zero to seven, so it's got a lot of focus travel. How about the fine? That's smooth. That's really smooth. Excellent. So far, so good. So everything looks pretty good on it. Let's see about the, the do shield. Would it, will it or will it not? Ah, yes. Check that out. An expandable and collapsed do shield. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So overall, it looks sturdy, looks good built. Got your focus locker here. The focuser is really smooth. The lens looks really nice. Everything looks pretty good for $275. It's not a cheap scope, I can tell you that. It is an archimatic. But for a 9 millimeter, 500 millimeter focal length, an F5, looks really sharp. But the proof's in the pudding, like they always say, so we'll get the test and let you know how to turn it.